Hi, in this video today I'm going to show you a way that you can get your lamps to start working again even when they're blown. So as you can see here I've got one, two, three, four, five lamps that have blown and four that are working. Now this will only work with the lamps that have a filament in. So in this particular one it's a G9 and what happens is the filament burns out and then normally you throw away the lamp and buy a new one. But often if you just wiggle the light around when it's on if the filament touches again, because it burns so hot, you can actually burn it back together and often you can get months out of it. And when it blows again, sometimes you can get it to work again. So it gets you a little bit more life out of your lamps. So sometimes it will work and sometimes it won't work. If the filament's completely blown out, it won't work. But if it's just a nice clean break, then it will work. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna swivel these ones around to try to get them to work again. Obviously, if you've got a fixed light on the ceiling, this is not gonna work. You're gonna to have to take the lamp out and put it in, for example, maybe a table light that you can actually move around the place. But with these ones coming down on the, the cable here, it's absolutely ideal because I can turn them upside down to get that filament to touch together again. So let's go through one, two, three, four, five of them and let's see if we have any success with them. So there you go, you see it came on there. So I'm gonna hold it in that position now. You don't have to do it for very long, just hold it there for maybe five or 10 seconds. And then when you put it down, just put it down gently again. And just leave it there, because if you wiggle it around now, remember it hasn't fully fused together yet. So that's one's work. Let's try this one here. There we go, so I'm gonna hold that one there. Now sometimes you can be lucky and it will start working within a, a second or two. Sometimes you really do have to move them around for three or four minutes to get that filament to touch because often with a bit of static, the filament can stick to the outside of the glass. So let's put that one gently down. Let's try this one up here. Right, I'm not sure if that one's gonna work, so let's try another one. Let's try this one here. Oh. Right, okay, because that made a, a flash and I heard it, I heard it kind of blow, what's happening on that one is the filament's completely blown on that one, but I'll show you that one at the very end. So let's try this one here. Oh, and there we go, that one has also just blown. So out of the five, I'll try this one more time just here just to see. No, so out of the five, we got two that's working. And if I was to turn the lights off and turn them back on again, they will come back on again. There we go. So you might be lucky, you might get months out of it, you might only get a few weeks, but either way, it's still worth trying. Now, just to show you, if we just come down on the table, I'm just gonna show you what it looks like when it's completely blown and also what it looks like when it's possibly fixable. Now, if we have a look here, hopefully if we come right in, you'll be able to see that on this one here, you can see that the filament goes up that side and comes down this side. And can you see there's a nice clean break? So there's a chance on this one here by moving it around the place and giving it a tap that you'll be able to get the filament to touch that bit there and then it's made the circuit again. But on this one here, this one you've seen that it just flashed for a second and then went. That's because it's completely blown. If you have a look there now, the, the only filament that's left is just on that top bit there. You can see there's no path back to these two silver prongs down here. So that's blown completely. So out of the five lamps there, we weren't very lucky there. We only got two, that's worked. 